around town. Mm. However, the gospel musicians, uh, it looks like they are campaigning heavily. Mm-hmm. Because one of their very own, uh, their very own, is in a comfortable lead. Um, there was some filler. Let me try and get the. Uh, someone sent me an artwork yesterday. There was something I saw. In Shaba, I do allow to say it's with Kwame Dazi and ten others. Ah, uh, she's with me. Yes, I'm reading from Facebook. Oh, she okay. says she tagged me. Okay. Am I the only VGMA Academy member? Frankie Five has been lobbying for votes. And uh, hey Frankie, let me go and vote. Eh? I woke up to this um, this Facebook post from George Quay. This was what George Quay. George Quay is the boss of Image Bureau. He says, gospel people, in inverted commas, going around desperately, doing all they can to influence, in inverted commas, VGMA Academy and board members. Worldly, in inverted commas, worldly acts are focusing on their fans as should be done. When we talk pet, then gospel people bore SMH. Well, let's speak with the boss uh, of Image Bureau. Let's speak with the boss of Image Bureau. George. Now where? Okay. So, George, can you confirm you posted this? Or someone is using your handle? Uh, no, I do have people who sometimes manage my handle for me, but this was me myself. Okay. What informs this? Um, you, you did start by reading a post from my uh, own actual law. And, um, George, I will appreciate, I, are you using, uh, George, please hold on. Are you using an earpiece? Yes, hold on a second. Let me get to the phone itself. Right, One thank second. you. Give me, give me a second. Yeah. Listeners, in case you just tuned in, you're listening to. Uh, is it better now? Yes, thank you very much. Great. You're listening to Hits okay. 103.9 FM. It's time for Showbiz Review. I'm speaking with the boss of Image Bureau, George Quay. George, please. Yes, my brother. Uh huh. So I was saying you did start by reading a post from our own sister, Adra Loud. And uh, you know, when it comes to the VGMAs, uh, I have deep connections and deep roots. Um, and, um, of course, we would have deep throats as well. And um, this is not just, um, let us not, let us understand that this is not a post about Frankie Five. Because, in all honesty, he's not the only one trying to lobby members of academy or board. And, Andy, you would recall that when it comes to this kind of allegation, I have made it before, some time past. And these same gospel people came at me very, very hard. They fought it, they denied it, some even called for my head, some even said I should be fired. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. They are given their own evidence. You see, some will say that, oh, but it is just lobby, it's fair game. No, it is not fair game. That is why the VGMAs give you three voting blocks to work with. You understand? And they give you one that is directly in your control, the general public. Um, Andy. The VGMA board or organizers would not frown at anyone who decides you can bribe the public, you can lobby the public, you can beg the public. You look, you can even paint everybody's house or buy everybody brand new phones and let them vote for you. There have been times that people have held voting parties. Did you hear anybody frown against it? There are times that we visited churches and you've heard the pastor announce that we have this our member. Has anybody frowned against it? No. Keep it there. But Andy, when you cross into the territory of the academy and board, then it means you are trying to alter the very essence the, uh, the scheme was set up. And one of those reasons is to provide or give the world the very best of Ghanaian music. That is why you have legends of the, on that board. Legends like yourself, Auntie Dusty, like our brother, uh, um, Kwame Dazi, like um, Niaite Go, the watch, uh, Niaite Hamond. I mean, the list is put uh, out of all, every year. Unfortunately, all of these people you are mentioning are no more on the board. Very good. 
Jimmy, I'm, uh, well, I'm not bad. You, you thank can, you. you. Can, yeah, you are not, but the others still are. Uh, you and I are not. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, Amanzuba and Co. These are very respectable people. So imagine if um, something was put out and it's not the best. You put three blocks so that you can put in checks and balances. If the board wanted or organizers wanted the board influenced or academy influenced, then why wouldn't they just make it all public goods? Then what's the point of having them there? But you need three blocks so that there will be checks and balances. If the football game were left to just the field of play, there would be no need for a VAR. There would be no need for that extra eye. There would be no need for that extra um, uh, scrutiny, which is going to help us all arrive at the best. Because music is music. And of course, music is enjoyed and made popular by the fans. But the fans may not really understand the integrity. They may not really understand the technical aspect. All those little elements that come together that, to make the song whole. That is why sometimes you have to go beyond the public to look for people who would look beyond what the public would look at. They will look at the composition. They will look at the arrangement. They will look at the flow. They will look at the rhyme, rhyme scheme. They will look even at sales and all other things before they can arrive because the category definition goes beyond just the public you understand and you see what a lot of people may not be aware of is that there are technical definitions for each category Kwame Dazi is there he knows if I'm wrong he would really uh, put me right there are technical definitions there, there, there's a word for them I, I have to say it, it just escaped me you understand? Those ones, may, the public may not be privy to. So somebody will just sit back and say, oh, but it says um, I must have released a song in the year under review that generated the most excitement, blah, 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 blah. No. When you go beyond, there are technical definitions for categories. And Andy, you know this. You understand? So let us not take it lightly. Let us not say it is okay. And what really, really tickles my fancy is this. How come hip lifers are not doing this? How come high lifers, how come break it down for artists are not doing this? How come every time it is only gospel? How come? And Andy, you have been on the academy before. So are you telling me that once upon a time, some time back, you were not privy to uh, uh, some gospel people even coming to where academy people were voting to try to lobby them? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know this, and this right. is true. Did you see anybody else from any other genre beyond gospel doing this? No. No. It was the gospel people. It's just inappropriate to mention names. And I hate that thing where when you talk, you say, mention names or you're like, these are gospel people. You're supposed to be serving God for Christ's sake. So stop telling lies. And be honest and be bold. And let everybody know that, yes, you want it that bad, so you would go whatever lens to be able to get it. There's nothing wrong being, being bold and, and, and claiming whatever it is you claim. But let's do it right. Let's call it out. Let us say it is wrong and let's encourage our gospel people to stop and always stop ganging up and coming to say, let us go for the head. Look, yesterday I was working at Charter House and at the VGMs, so they could call for my head. I'm the CEO of my own firm now. They should come and call for my head again. That nonsense has to stop. Hmm. Let us stand up and call what is wrong, wrong. Why do you wake up in the morning and start sending messages to board members and academy members? Somebody will say, the fact that you have sent a, a board member or an academy member a message does not mean that he is going to. We are all human. Every human being has a price. Let us not kid ourselves. If people did not have prizes, Anas Arimianas would never be successful in Ghana. What he does works and he gets people because everybody has a price. So let us discourage it now. Let us not sit back and say, oh, but the fact that uh, 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 Ria has called Andy Dusty because Andy is Ria's friend and told Andy Dusty, oh, when you go, vote for Robert Kla because Robert is my friend. Robert has worked hard, so vote for Robert Kla. It is okay. It is not okay. And let's call it out because today it is Ria's words to Andy Dusty. If those words do not work, Ria might invite Andy Dusty for lunch next week. And by the time you realize, Ria is inviting Andy Dusty to, to hotel something. And by the time you realize, Andy might be compromised. How do we know what length people are willing to go? So why don't we call it and stop it now? Okay. It is wrong. Do everything you want to do with the public. But leave the board and academy to do their work. They are human for Christ's sake. If you keep pushing it, it's only a matter of time before somebody falls. And let's stop tempting people. It is in the Bible. Even Christ, when uh, the devil took him to the top of the mountain and said, I'll give you all the whole world, whatever, whatever, if you do even he, he, they said it's right there in the Bible, we should flee. Because the Bible knows that man is fallible. So if you keep pushing people, if you keep making it okay for people to say, oh, it's just lobby. Me, I'll never fall. No. 
he's not been able to find what will make you fall just yet. Okay. All right. Well, George, thank you very much. We'll thank continue much, with the rest here. Um, I've seen... <laughs> it, it, it looks like... Uh, okay, so someone just sent me this. It says, the Academy member... <laughs> <laughs> The Academy member, PSC Esther, when voting on PSC Esther, when voting on the VGM Academy portal. She got seven nominations, including Artist of the Year. God bless you. Ah. Wait, what? Yes. She had seven nominations. No, she so the message is saying, Dear Academy member, uh -huh. please consider who PSC. What on Facebook? No, I'm asking you. No, uh, my producer just signaled me to check something on, on Facebook. Uh, that uh, we are we are live on Facebook. What's on Facebook? Let me check it. Okay, okay. So yes, it, 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 the, okay, it, it is live on Facebook. So please get on Facebook and watch it. Dear Academy member, I'm reading from. Is this something sent to the Academy members? From who? So the gospel person. From the table of men. Uh, is it Frankie Five? No. Frankie Five is not the only person on table of men. I'm just asking. Because he's not the only person. There, there are a lot of men on that table. <laughs> you know, so there are a lot of men around that table. So listeners, get on Facebook and see what the So are they using this to influence people? I, I don't Okay, for, let me hear your voice before I get to call you. Yes, so um, in the beginning, when um, the whole conversation started... You know, interestingly, started, this suffix of so, each time we're beginning a statement is... Yeah, is, we start with so. Hey, it has become it's part weird, of us. But it's become yeah, part of us some way. <laughs> hey. But maybe it's because of the influence well, of... It's a, it's a prefix. Yes, or it's because it's of the influence of our um, Ghanaian or Indeed. vernacular. Aha, uh -huh, you get it. So when it's time to start um, a Indeed. conversation Andy. in... in, hey, in which yeah, so... so well, yes. Like <laughs> but it's bad English, right? It is bad. I don't think it's bad. Uh, no, it is not bad English. It's just, just um, the influence of your native tongue. Uh, another one is like... Like that one, the ladies like okay. like they like it like that. And then one one other language, what some one word that has become so part of us, apparently. apparently. <laughs> you know, what you are saying is not, not apparent. apparent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, funny, apparently Sad. and apparently. Bro, Andrew, yeah, uh, anyway, continue. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, when it start when the conversation started, uh, I was communicating with um my brother here. And then um, I started asking, so is it that they are sending broadcast messages? And um, when you're, you're speaking about the table of men, you should know that they probably have, a, they, are, they are into the music uh, industry. Yeah. Okay, so they probably have a lot of music, um, high top guns on their contacts list, whether you like it or not. So them sending a broadcast message to their fans mm. and it's ending up on the phone mm. of um, a top executive might be coincidental coincidental or influential okay no, it, let's that, speak with let's speak with uh boss of media excel kwesi ernest kwesi many thanks yes, for joining boss. us how are you i'm very very fine sir right good kwesi andy i i hear you speak for the gospel fraternity I am the chairman, I am the honorable chairman for the table of men. And I think as a chairman, I have a due responsibility for the growth and development of the gospel industry. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. <laughs> so does that mean you, you are the lobbyist, the chief lobbyist? Yes, you can, you can tell me that such. I'm the chief lobbyist. Is it true that you are lobbying for votes? Uh, you're lobbying for votes for uh, musicians who are nominated for the VGMAs? You see, Andy, uh, let us all put this to... Let, let's settle this matter for once. And let every industry person understand that the VGMAs 
is a competitive award scheme. It is not sort of like sitting in your room and then maybe, you know, some people will discover in everything. It's a competitive award scheme. Every artist who performed under the year under review is put into a, a class. The gospel people, the secular, everybody, we've all put into a particular c- category and then asking the whole world, the whole guy and everybody to vote and determine who is what and who is the best among that and all that. Once you place an award scheme on that level, it is important for everybody to see that at that level, it is competitive. And at that level, the formula is that play your cast well and win it. Let nobody be emotional about it. It is about play your cards well, get people to vote for you, whatever you have to do. If I had to enter into Andy Dawson's bedroom to lobby for him to have the reason to be able to vote for PSS, there's nothing wrong about it. And let nobody try to play fast about it that, and try to make it look like as if that we've committed a crime that has never, we have committed treason. Nobody has committed treason for, <laughs> for, for lobbying for, for, for PSS to win Artists of the Year. You understand? In years back, in years back, this is I, I see industry people, the gospel people, you people are not aggressive. When we are doing things, you people are saying this. You people are saying that you are you don't think because of our words we are now we have been to the front and we are making sure gospel is winning. And then the same industry people say who were then chastising us of our uh, not being aggressive. The same industry people are now claiming that we are lobbying and so we have done something wrong. Did we use somebody's car? Te- telephone to to to, use, to do the call to lobby. Did we use somebody's car to drive to somebody's house, or did we use somebody's fuel to do that purpose? We are doing this on purpose. It's an agenda. The whole industry, the music industry business, is an agenda-driven industry. And if you don't have a purpose, you don't have an agenda. Then you better exit from the music industry. That is how it is. It's a competitive level, and we have to play to win. Several communities they are fighting, they are competing. They are doing their own things underground. The fact that you don't see Blacko uh, posting anything for people to vote does not mean Blacko is sitting down in his bedroom doing nothing. Okay. Everybody has their system. They have their what they are doing. Okay, Kwasi. He may decide to be quiet and operate underground. We also want to be loud and operate underground. Okay, Kwasi. So is this is this the same is this the same way or or method you used to get Joe Metal and Diana Hamilton winning? I bet you you check, you check, you 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 check, from Dan Hamilton to the president. It is the same, it has been the same system. We we are working, we've working out from our slumber, knowing that there's a way to make sure that the gospel wins. And once we've seen the way, once God has opened our eyes to see the light, nobody will dim that light. That is how it's supposed to be, because nobody lit a candle and put it under his bed. When you lit up a candle, you put it at the top. And that's what the Bible mandates us to do. That is what we are doing. If we want the world to see our good and things that we are doing for the gospel industry, we need to be able to light our candle and put it at the top so that the world will come in to see that the gospel people, we are working. We are not just there as if that we are just small contributors and factors to the music industry. Okay. We are just there in preparedness. We are there to be able to give hope. And, and, then, and then be able to attest to the fact that we are doing something. And so we do, we need to light our candle up. And we are lighting the candle up. Right. That is what you are seeing. The candle okay. is shining across. Right, Chrissy. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah, so, so, so um, with this, this wait, wait, could you, before, um, Chrissy, before you go, please let me yeah. ask you this. The, 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 there, there is a, a screenshot going around yeah. that um, you are asking Academy board members to vote for PAC Esther. Yeah. Is is Andy, is that true? It is it is it is very true. And if we did that, we didn't go to any academy board academy or board member with a with, with a basket of yam or goat or ram and then pay anybody bribe to vote for PAC Esther. We appeal to people's conscience that look the So what do you what, what do you lobby with? Yeah, please. We lobby with our we lobby with our mouth. We lobby with with our plea. It's a plea. If I call you Andy, if I call you Andy Dusty, and I tell you Andy, please out of the list, if you are voting, please vote for PCS star for us. Have I insulted you? Which one? This one is insult. It this thing that people are doing. It will not change our drive. 
it will not change our focus for PSA to be crowned the over artist of the But Kwesi, we hear you 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 you, you don't you don't lobby Kwesi, yes, we hear you don't you don't just lobby with your mouth as you said I hear you, to the extent it is is it's quite alarming to the extent that checks are, are signed and and people uh, I mean pounds are greased well, I, Andy, I, as the chairman of the table of men, I have not issued any check, and you know my company's name. Media Excel is my company. And my new artist we've released on the market is just tell us for our future geometers. We have not issued any check to anybody to be able to go and vote for PSA. We are appealing upon people's conscience for that matter. And if anybody wants to think otherwise, if anybody wants to digress from the main substantive issue of making sure we crown PSA, and we want to level, put the whole thing into circles of maybe we are bribing people, we are doing that. Seriously speaking, it will not stop the effort we are doing. What we are excited and we want to see on 6th of May is that PSA is crowned the overall artist of the year. Okay, so if, every if, industry person accept that fact. Okay. Let that established well into the minds of every industry person that we are not budging. We are not budging. Members of the table of members of the industry, the Church of Pentecost, who have also joined the entire uh, this process, we are all together in this one accord of one faith, making sure that on 6th of May, PSSA is crowned. And what what if, okay, Kwasi, what if she doesn't win? Andy, we are not in a war torn country, and nobody is going to kill anybody if PSSA does not win. However, we are believing in our effort. That is why we are working. Okay. Because we are not a war torn country, because we believe in the process and the principle. Appealing to people to vote, because the VGMA is a vote platform award system. They say we should vote. They provide a short code for us to vote. And we are doing the needful. And so whether he, she wins or she doesn't win, it is our responsibility to do the needful by making sure that we encourage, we speak to people, we lobby to people to continue voting. Because they say, did you vote? If you go to the platform, that's the voice they say. They say, did you vote? I mean, that's will come and say, did you vote? So we are, they are saying, well, did you vote? And we are telling people to vote. And then people to have a problem with that same process. So what do people want us to do? Okay. We should sit down for the arms for people to come and take the crown away. Mm. We will not. This is our time. Right. Right. Thank authority. you. Thank you very much. We are fighting for this. I'll be, I'll be expecting the, the, the new song from, from Estelle. If you change your metal, please let me have it. It's a beautiful song. Estelle, please let me have it so uh, I, can, I, I can also play it on my radio show. This morning, uh, D, uh, Mr. Hagler, DJ Bredash, they both started playing on the, on the system this morning. Oh, so you have it? Different. Oh, we have it? Yes. Okay, okay, Mr. okay. Hagler, All right. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. That okay. That, 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 let, let me also look for it and end the show with it. Well, thank you very much thank for talking. Thank you so much, sir. Thank right. you so much. Thank yes. you, Chrissy. Kwame. Ani Dusty. I wasn't Yeah, yes, Oh, please, She didn't land. Land. <laughs> Your flight is, is, is really high. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as I was saying, um, as we were listening, huh, um, I, I felt like it was just a coincidence that they were um, sending the messages. But now that um, Mr. Kwesi Ernest has, has uh, clarified, they are actually lobbying. But I don't think that he's also denying the fact that there's been any form of bribery or any form of gifts exchanging hands to say they are just saying oh um my friend can you consider so i think and he he made a salient point about the fact that um we've always been on the heads of gospel artists that they are not forceful enough they do not um know uh, how to be able to you know um be successful in like when when it comes to award schemes and all that so that is also a strategy they have employed so i feel like um we could also take a a, a, a leaf from their book or pamphlet maybe um 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 secular artists could also do the same yeah. but you see where where is the statue of limitation? Where do you put a bar on top of it that, okay, we cannot do this? Because once it becomes like a competition, like the worldly um, 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 artist and the uh, secular artist, now it, all gloves come um, on. Gloves come on and it becomes, oh, then let me see if I could, I could, 
that's where I feel like George was coming with the everybody has a price. Let me see if I could just give money to this person to see if this person can vote in my favor. So I want to know where the bar is, where it's untouchable, where you cannot cross. That's where what my um, situation is. But mm. in, in all in all, if it is not illegal, what they are doing, go off. All right. Kwame. Uh, Andy, mm -hmm. George Kwe used to be the PRO for the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. Mm -hmm. And uh, he knows the award scheme better than me. Mm -hmm. Yes, because he's been part of it. He was part of it for a long time. And so if he speaks about people trying to influence maybe the board members or the academy, uh, I know he knows what he's talking about. Now, it appears that his attention is, is on the gospel people. I don't know if it's because of the rumors or because of the... Um, the comments by Pusianist and other people that yes, truly they are calling people from the Boden Academy to vote for the gospel fraternity. I don't know if that is why he is uh, putting out this statement. But in the past, he has a history with them. And I remember that case actually got him maybe arrested for a while as the PRO for the board. And so for, for, for a long time, he was not even speaking on behalf of the board. So I'm trying to connect what happened years ago to what is happening now to understand why George Quay would come out with the statement at this point in time. Is George suggesting that apart from the gospel people, when he was with the VGMEs, there wasn't any instance, any any point in time when anybody from the secular artist side maybe tried to call anybody from the academy or the board to appeal to them to maybe give their vote to any particular artist from the secular side. I'm just asking to know. Because it appears that his submission um, clearly tells us that it is the gospel people who are trying to influence board members and academy. Is he saying that the fact that we've not seen anybody write on social media that the secular artists are doing the same means that they're not doing that? Now, I would have a problem if somebody goes to the, a board member or an academy member well, let's say money or anything to buy their conscience. I would have a problem with that. But the rule of the game is voting. And the voting, before you, ha you have the vote, you, you need to campaign for votes. You need to solicit for votes. You need to tell people to vote for you. And so most times, just as Kwesi said, when the awards ceremony is held and then winners are announced and people are not happy with some winners, my my big brother George will come on and say, "Oh, did you vote?" <laughs> now they are doing what to end them the vote. Now we have three voting blocks: the general public, the academy, and the board. I'm not sure anything bars anybody from trying to plead or to campaign. I wouldn't even use the the, the word lobby to campaign for votes from anybody. Mind you, the people who are in the academy and the and and, and on the board are also part of the general public, if you like. Because they consume music in Ghana, they consume the songs that have been nominated in their scheme. And so if they are going around to say, I think that my artist deserves to win this award, so please give the artist your vote, it is up to you, the person, to decide whether to vote for uh, the artist or not. If I am, let's say, an academy member, and you come to me and you tell me that um, Rhea has been nominated in, let's say, High Life Song, of the year category please vote for ria it's 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 dependent on me the academy member to vote for her or not okay except if you are trying to buy my my conscience with money with that we can say that is bad and i don't know if george has any evidence to prove that any of those people from the uh, table of men and, and and the christian community are giving out monies to other people on the board or on the academy to vote for any particular artist. What I think the Christian community is doing is rather something that should be emulated by most of these artists. Because you see, there is a psychology to it, uh, Andy. When, when the nominations come out, the people that drum home the whole campaign thing, vote for me, vote for me, vote for me they keep their my, uh, their names in the minds of the ordinary person on the street and so you realize that sometimes those who don't even express interest in the in the nominations don't win anything because you're not telling the people that you want the award you could clearly see that psc esther has put herself out there to tell people that 
I want the Artist of the Year award. And that is what the VGMA wants people to do, the artists or the nominees to do, to go out there and tell people to vote for them. Hmm. And Fra so Frank Five has reacted. For the Christian community, for the Christian community, what is happening right now is to project Christendom, if you like, is to project gospel music, is to evangelize. They believe that what they do as gospel musicians is to evangelize to the world. And if you are evangelizing and the award scheme is to project you, it means that you are amplifying the gospel to the world. And so I don't see anything wrong with them pleading on people, campaigning to get votes. Are they pleading or they are greasing pounds? No, that, that is why I said, but except they are, they if denied Andy, denied wait, they're wait. not denied. Hold on, this is what Frankie Five except is saying. Except if they are paying Kwame, money. Kwame, listen to what Frankie Five is saying. Let, he just sent me a message. He says, Andy, let anyone who has received any money from any of us to vote for PSA prove or keep quiet and allow us to execute our agenda. With this same for Joe and Diana, why is George and Co shouting? Is it illegal to solicit for votes? I think the board must come out to confirm or deny this assertion that gospel influence them with money. Because, will be because Andy, this is an integrity issue. Yes. George should come out and name so we shame whoever. Else, it's a big integrity issue that's been casted on the image of the board. Andy, let me also add that. Apart from people, quote unquote, lobbying. Nino, Nino, what are you saying? Nino, I say, what? This, this is just like a reminder of nothing but boss. No one is greasing anyone, please. Nino, I. Okay. Andy, I also want to state that apart from the perceived lobbying that is going on, or let me say the campaign that is going on uh, on the part of the table of men or the Christian community and to the academy or the board i think that there are different things that influence how people vote in award schemes now social media campaign is one key thing if you've realized when you go on social media you can see the bars within these few days from tuesday uh, from yesterday from monday to, to now when you go on social media it's everything about black sheriff and pc esther now look at the, the nominees on the artist of the year category there are people on there who may have even worked harder than PSC Esther on that list. But now it is PSC Esther's name against Black Sheriff, who a lot of people may think that she she or he is out there as the artist of the year. Because if you ask anybody who are who monitored the uh, the music scene from last year, they will tell you, oh, Black Sheriff had a very good year. PC Esther's name wouldn't have come up loud like that. But they are doing something to peg PC Esther's name at par with Black Sheriff now. Now, it's between Black Sheriff and PC Esther on social media. This is an agenda they've set for the gospel industry to get out there. So, we are go so on social I, media. I feel, I look feel, at, I feel look like at Pentecost has Church, their, for example. Yes. And, and, and the Church of Pentecost has put out a post on social media also asking people to vote for PSA Esther, who is their own, who is a deaconess in the church, they should go and vote for her. So you could There's see nothing clearly. nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. But so is, is it so, appropriate to so, to um, lobby at board level? Okay, how so, much? So how much? Excuse me. How so, much? How so much is the, How much is the board um, board power? How much is it? It's forty now. Forty percent. Yes. And and the general public is it's thirty now. 30. Academy is 30, public is 30, board is 40 now. Hey. Yes. And so really? I think that is what, what George is talking clarify. about. No, no, I, I, I'm, saying, I'm saying this for it. sure. Okay. That is why George is worried because George, George doesn't think that the board, which is the engine room, the, the, the group of George technical, George technical people <laughs> should be influenced in any way. But mind you, things that go on on social media, when you see things on social media, may even influence the judgment of academy or board when they go for sitting. Well, can I so ask? Can the I influences ask this? Has, are many, apart right. from the person's technical has, abilities. Has, has Josh Kwe seen any form of, you know, uh, money leaving? He had alleged that in the past. In the past, oh, uh -huh. it was that. So you see, that is why George, 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 tomorrow, tomorrow, so tomorrow yeah, George, let's sit on this. Listen, people. Listen, they're all denying anything. it. Listen, I, they're all denying it. No, hold it. When I was part of the academy, I remember back Were you Monday, approached? Eh? Were you approached? No. We've, We've never, never been approached. Our time, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, our time, our time was, was way different from how it is done now. 
right? Your time is not too far oh, it, oh, away. But, oh, but you know when I was part of the academy? It's Andy talking, no. Andy, I mean, when did you leave the academy? I left the academy about... F- uh, okay, so I left, went to the main board, came back to academy, went to the main board once, then brought to academy for some years... Then I left. Then when did you leave? I that was the, the question. Oh, the last time I was on the academy. Onkai, onkai. Minkai, that's about four or five years. And ago. the board? I, I don't remember. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I don't probably, remember. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I so was, probably I was, he I, wasn't preview to the rot. I was I was a board member for some time, but yeah. Yeah. So you were never approached. No. By anybody. On the gospel table of men frat in the gospel no. fraternity manager food soldier no, 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 no. but listen, I know and it also can never be influenced. Listen, but even back in the day, uh, in okay, in our time, we were confined to a place to vote under strict supervision. Yeah, the academy, I remember. Yes, those back days. in the day, we we'll have breakfast, we we'll vote, finish it, we we'll have lunch, and they were if, back, even when I was in Kumasi, they were flying us from. Kumasi to but come I mean, and that vote. One that people, between pe- you and your pe- people were flying. <laughs> yeah, people were people. They were people were flying in from Tamale. People were flying in from you know other, other parts pa- of yeah, Ghana. Okay, you understand? Okay. And we were we were voting under strict supervision. Uh, I mean, if um, everything changed, anybody when, has evidence. When, when, no, no, when no, I I'll be we worried. To vote I'll be worried. Online. I'll be worried if they are giving out monies to people to vote for them. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. And, and if anybody knows of any instance like that, then they Charlie, can put tomorrow, it to the tomorrow, floor yeah. for people to uh, tomorrow, discuss. The table of men will be here. Nino and Frankie Five, Kwesi Ernest, they'll be here tomorrow. George Kwe is coming tomorrow. Uh, Robert Lau He's bringing evidence. Fight equation. George Kwe says, look, the board and academy members were not selected so they could be influenced. They were selected for their knowledge of the industry. Push the public all you want, but leave the board alone. Ah, he says, I should have come to the studio. If Kwame says it's okay to lobby the board and academy, then really there's no point having a board and academy. There's a reason the courts always protect the jury from coming into contact with anyone in the course of a jury trial. Leave the board and academy alone. Leave them. That's what Judge Kwe is saying. Let's hear what they have to say tomorrow. Uh Okay. So we'll have that discussion. Hey, guys, Supernatural Empowerment Summit 2023 season... Uh, uh, this season, okay, 2023, Supernatural Empowerment, SE. This year, in Archbishop Ajinasai's 40th year in the music in ministry and the third Supernatural Empowerment Summit, expand life-changing insights. Obakon, nice, Mr. Meko, because, uh, uh, my dear, uh, bless, uh, how do you, how does he call them? Um, beloved. No, it doesn't say beloved. Precious, precious one, one. Precious one. Precious one. So yeah, Archbishop Ajinasai, <laughs> I like that one so much. Yeah. Precious one. Yeah, handsome man. But he says beloved too. Yeah, yeah he does. Uh, but he, he usually says... Yeah, precious. Well, he says precious one. Other speakers include Dr. Robert Ampia Kofi. I like that man too. Apostle Dr. Eric Nyamiche. Wow. Okay, Doctor Reverend Dr. Stephen Wangam. And Bishop Joseph Imakando from Zambia, Bishop Joseph Matara from USA, Apostle Yves Castanou from Congo, Apostle Abraham Gaji from Cote d'Ivoire. This is happening from Monday to Friday, Monday 22nd to 26th May. Evening session starts Monday at 5.30 p.m. Morning session starts Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. daily. Venice, the Paris Chapel International, Joulu Junction. In Accra, please, if you need any information, kindly call 0548 633 Let's all meet at the Paris Chapel International and uh, hear what the Lord says. Hey, it's music's biggest weekend. The VGMAs is happening. Get your clothes ready. It's just 500 Ghana CDs, premium 700 Ghana CDs VIP. Call star 713 star 33 star 24 hash. Star 713 star 33 star 24 hash. Also at Nalam Stores, Accra Mall and Charter House for VVIP. Please call 0501-288-520. Yeah. 
to be sorted out. Thank you all very much for listening. Special thanks to Vodafone, Franco Trading Enterprise, Echo Bank, Top Rebel Clinic, Awake Purified Drinking Water, Access Bank, Cowbell, Our Milk, yep, Franco Trading Enterprise, MTN, GRA, and to you for listening. My name is Andy. Thanks, Kwame Dadzi. Thank you, Ria. We shall meet again same time tomorrow for yet another interesting edition of Daybreak Years beginning 6 a.m. ending time 10 a.m. 